Are you sure? I got you something. Ugh. Thank you, but you shouldn't have. Why? Steph, what's wrong with you? You've been like this since yesterday. Nothing. I'm fine. Oh, look. It's still Miss Ami. Look, you can tell me anything, okay? We'll soon be in love soon. Look, are you trying to offend me or are you trying to make me feel better? Um, okay. Sorry. Maybe that was a little too soon. Anyway, listen. I know something. A problem shared makes it a lot better. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe if you never came to my office, you and Miggy would be just fine. No. If I never went to any of those sessions in your office, I wouldn't have gotten to this point in my life. And I probably might not have even met Miguel. Look, Steph, I know I may not be your ideal woman or friend, but just try me. Steph, I need you to please break down those walls and let me in. Let me be your friend, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now I need something stronger. Look, get me two shots of brandy. Cool. Thank you. What are you doing here? It's past 10 p.m.? Yeah, I know, I know, Steph. Uh, the thing is, I have um, a bit of a situation here. Uh, you know how a young man can get carried away. So my friend and I, this beautiful woman here, you know, we went out, had fun. Uh, so she just dropped me off and then I got off the car and I found out that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pick my car keys and my wallet. Um, and he, he stays really, really far away from here, about two hours drive from here. But I called him immediately and then he said that um, he really can't make the turn, so um, I'm in a fix. So what are you insinuating? Oh, well, I am just um, <clears throat> thinking, um, uh, given the fact that I'm just hoping that, you know, you, um, <clears throat> you know, come on, you allow me and my <coughs> babe here, um, you know, have the spare room for tonight, you know, um, please. Did you just call me your baby? Ah, look, calm down, all right? You don't, don't, don't do that right now, okay? Uh, <laughs> Steph, please, all right? Just, just for tonight, all right? Fine, but I'm only doing this because of this young lady. Just tonight. Yeah, just tonight. I mean, it, it's just tonight, right? One night, right? Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. tonight. Look, 
I can. I cannot even see. I can't concentrate. I can't do anything. Tomorrow, I am asking the gate man to work. Oh, the bed sheet, the pillow, the mattress, the whole bed. I don't care how he does it. He should just get it clean, man. Look, yeah. this no, is the last time I am letting yeah. this guy into my house. I swear down. Wait. This is the last time. No way. I'm sure there's some form of abuse going on in there. Oh, abuse? Yes. Oh, no. He is giving her the oh, take it easy, take the glass it. Of it. The benga oh. is there. That's what keeps them coming back for me. Then, like this is not his regular. Huh? He has a dozen oh, of girls. Girls keep coming in and out of his house. In fact, he has slept with all the girls in Lagos. He's left guys. Oh. Mm. just started and I knew I wanted more he just wanted a wife with a BSc and someone that would just settle with only what he had to offer I knew there was more that I needed to achieve so then he cheated on me with his best friend and soon he broke up with me Two years later, him and his fiance sent me an invitation letter to their wedding. Was that why you were moody today? I mean, look, I feel like maybe I, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have been over ambitious. I should have just been the average African woman and just settled. You know, I may not be the most career-driven lady, but I know you moving on and pursuing your dream wasn't a regrettable move, okay? Everyone has what they settle for. Vera was his and he settled for her. Besides, you're way out of his league. Yeah? And you being a career-driven woman doesn't stop you from being sexy. That shouldn't stop you, honey. You need to let your hair down. I mean, your hair is always in a bun, you're always dressed up all tight, you don't expose your cleavage. It's not like you don't have great boobs, like, wh what? What is wrong with you? Who offended you? The only thing stopping you from being a man is because you don't have a dick. Look, I have fun. No, you don't. I do. I mean, my my job is just occupying. Oh, please. Oh, please, Steph. Career-driven women have families. Okay? But you, you're just too uptight. You're stiff. Everything about you is just arranged and scheduled. Like, when was the last time you did something spontaneous? When was the last time you had fun? Like, when was the last time you had a D? What? Fuck! When was the last time you had sex? Sex! <sighs> Two... Oh, look at that. Two months. <sighs> That's not very good, but eh, we can do with that. Nicole, I'm insane. <gasps> Wait! No! No! <laughs> Are you kidding? Two years? Two fucking years? Are you kidding me? What? You are now a virgin again. And you need to be this virgin. Like, are you kidding? I'm sure we have cobwebs and a lot of things just crawling in there. What is wrong with you? Like, what is happening with you?
Smile. Good. Perfect. So, what do you think? You like? Why are my brows so fat though? Hmm? My brows! And gosh, are you like a cooking monster? No, you don't. You look great. Stop touching it. Oof, Sasha Pierce. Oh, <laughs> <there I go. laughs> um, Alright, and what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You really do not have to wear that. Do you? But those are my glasses I'm going to wear. Um, reading glasses, I presume. So you do that. Oh, when you get it. Yeah. <laughs> You look so fine. Woo! Right, I should start making money out of this. <laughs> okay, okay. So I have been talking to this guy using the Instagram profile I opened for you a few days back and now he's asked you out on a lunch date. <laughs> he's obviously married. No, he's not. 37, mm -hmm. unmarried. Self-made, good looking, nice beard and Ooh. that body. Ooh. Look, if he's not married, Mm, he definitely has a psychological problem. I mean, how can a guy this perfect still be single? <laughs> Look, you are not talking yourself out of going on a date with this fine man. No, sister, you are not. Look, I opened this profile just five days ago, uh -huh. and he already wants a date. Are you sure he's not a thief disguised as a gentleman? Uh -uh. You see, I have clients who have men rob them of their belongings and their bodies and... Oh, gosh. Ugh. You're sick. Look, this date is in an open restaurant and not in a hotel room. All right. Okay? See, whether you like it or not, you are going on this date. Capish. Nicole, why are you frustrating me? You haven't even kept to your own part of the bargain. I, 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 um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I have applied for a job here and there. Right. Yes. See, he's asking, he's asking for dates. Anyways, tell him I only go on a date with him if I get to choose where. <sighs> okay, mm. he said no problem. Where? Tell him Zola's place around Admiralty Way. On your dates, you decide to go with your regular. Nicole, I'm comfortable with that place. I mean, at least I'm sure not to have a runny stomach in the middle of my date. Mm. He said great. He'll be there by seven. Hey, better be. The day you get laid. Ah! Oh, thank you. Moses, God of beautiful people, look at you, huh? Turn around. Yeah. What? What struck you to dress like this? Why? Huh? Huh? Does it look that bad? You know what you're doing is not fair, really, Steph. This is not fair. I mean, look, turn, turn around. Turn, turn, turn around. Huh? When I'm with you, you don't ever get to dress this way. But tell me the truth. What are you? <clears throat> what are you doing here, dressed like this? I have a date. 
I said I have a date. You have a date? Yes. Good. Where is she? Benga, it's a he. Mm. Why am I even answering you, sir? What is wrong with you? Look, I was beginning to worry for you. I thought you could, you know, switch to your preference <laughs> and become a lesbian. I mean, we don't get right. to see you with men. So I'm actually excited that you're going to... But look, let me tell you something. Boy, look, you're going in there to go be with a man. Look, I need you to be careful because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Having a woman look in this good. <sighs> Linga. What? What am I doing? Well, I wish you were inside to analyze him. You wish I was what? In there. To do what? Analyze him for me. But well, that's your job as a therapist, huh? Go there and handle your business. <laughs> oh. Huh? <laughs> but just in case I need a nigga needs help, just tell up me, man. I will be here. I'll just. Oh, stop. <laughs> Bye. What? You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Flattery, but it's a form of praise as manipulation. See, in psychology, we believe this is a way to make someone let her guards down. The more she lets her guards down, the more she's prone to manipulation. That way, it's easier for her to be taken advantage of. Um, I was just passing compliments, Missy. And please do not analyze compliments. I have a bunch of questions to ask you. This is a date, Stephanie, and not an interview. Well, it is necessary that I ask you questions. You see, if people ask their prospective partners questions before getting serious or intimate, it reduces breakups to 20%. Well, uh, I think we should just eat. Um, so, what are your long-term goals and your short-term goals? Oh, um, I will answer that after dinner. Yeah, we'll come. Um, I'll have your salad and uh, roasted chicken breast. I'll just have salad, please. Thank you. Um, so, what are your short-term goals and your long-term goals? You did what? I asked him if he wanted a bed, but something serious. What was your plan? Was your plan to really chase that guy away? Look, I was just trying to get to know him. Wow! Wow! No, like seriously, is this what you teach your clients? You know, thank God I never attended one of your stupid classes on how to get a man. That's what you teach your clients, right? No. I teach them how to be patient and how to be watchful. Interesting. So what part of patience and watchful did you apply here? Okay, I am going to get ready for work. I need you to get out of my room and go hunt for a job. I have a job. What? You do? Yes. Really? As a receptionist at a spa. Um, the pay is not great, but it's okay. Look, I really don't care how much the pay is. I am just so excited that you have a job. At least something to keep you going daily. Whatever. I'm so excited! Congratulations! <laughs> so... I'll be doing the talking today, Miss Amé. You know, I do like you a lot. <laughs> 